thought leaders at admittedly probably the most preeminent center in SIBO research and publication commented that you should avoid lactobacillus probiotic. And this came from two small studies. And I want to quickly cover what those studies found, how I think it's clear to conclude that their comments to avoid lactobacillus are incorrect, show you the easy to follow evidence trail that you should use lactobacillus or other like probiotics if you have SIBO and give you a simple protocol with which to do so. So these thought leaders essentially commented to avoid lactobacillus based upon two small observational studies. And what these studies found was that when lactobacillus was higher, it appeared to or it correlated with lower diversity and that higher lactobacillus may displace certain bacteria in the small intestine. And from that, again, the conclusion was avoid supplementing with lactobacillus. However, in these same two studies, it was also shown that higher levels of lactobacillus correlated with less bloating and that lactobacillus may combat methanogens and correlate with less constipation. So not only are these two small studies, but I think on their face, they were misrepresented. But that's not the most egregious part of this whole picture. What I find to be most disheartening and where my sort of passion comes from on this is the fact that the entire body of scientific evidence was disregarded with these claims. What do I mean by that? Well, let me outline this for you here with a very simple graphic. They cite two, again, small observational studies, whereas at the same time, they discount 105 randomized controlled trials summarized in four meta-analyses. So let's quickly unpack what these studies found. The first meta-analysis, of randomized control trials found that lactobacillus probiotic improve IBS symptoms and they had the lowest rate of adverse events of all probiotics studied. Second meta-analysis found that lactobacillus probiotics reduce inflammatory cytokines and increase anti-inflammatory cytokines. Third meta-analysis found that probiotics, including lactobacillus, are effective in eradicating SIBO. And the fourth and final most recent meta-analysis found that lactobacillus with or without bifidobacterium improved leaky gut, reduced inflammation, and alleviated dysbiosis. So again, I come back to this very important fact that the conclusions the research group came to were based upon two small observational studies Whereas at the same time, they left out essentially the entire body of scientific evidence. <laughs>